Enter. Dr. Johnson, Your Highness. Ah, Dr. Johnson. Damn cold day. Indeed it is, sir, but a very fine one. For I celebrated last night the encyclopedic implementation of my premeditated orchestration of demotic anglo saxon <laughs> Nope, didn't catch any of that. <laughs> well, I simply observed, sir, that I'm felicitous, since during the course of the penultimate solar sojourn, I terminated my uninterrupted categorization of the vocabulary of our post, Norman Tang. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds damn saucy, you lucky thing. <laughs> I know some fairly liberal-minded girls, but I've never penultimated any of them in that solo sojourn. If I have been given any Norman tongue. <laughs> I believe, sir, that the doctor is trying to tell you that he is happy because he has finished his book. It has apparently taken him ten years. Yes, well, I'm a slow reader myself. <laughs> sir, the very cornerstone of English scholarship. This book, sir, contains every word in our beloved language. Ooh. Every single one, sir? Every single word, sir. Oh, well, in that case, sir, I hope you will not object if I also offer the doctor my most enthusiastic contrafibularities. <laughs> contrafibularities, sir? It is a common word down our way. Damn. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm anaspeptic, prasmotic, <laughs> even compunctuous to have caused you such pericombobulation. <laughs> what, what, what? what are you all about, Blackhead? This is all beginning to sound a bit like Dago talk to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I merely wished to congratulate the doctor on not having left out a single word. <laughs> Shall I fetch the tea, Your Highness? Yes, yes. And, and get that damn fire up here, will you? Certainly, sir. I shall return interfrastically. <laughs> so, Dr. Johnson, sit you down. Now, this book of yours, tell me, what's it all about? It is a book about the English language, sir. I see. And the hero's name is what? There is no hero, sir. No hero? Well, lucky I reminded you. Better put one in, pronto. Um, call him George. George is a good name for a hero. Uh, now, what about heroines? There is no heroine, sir, unless it is our mother tongue. Uh, the mother's the heroine. Nice twist. <laughs> so, how far have we got, then? Old Mother Tongue is in love with George, the hero. Now, what about murders? Mother Tongue doesn't get murdered, does she? No, she doesn't. No one gets murdered, or married, or in a tricky situation over a pound note. Well, now, look, Dr Johnson, I may be as thick as a whale omelette, but even I know <laughs> a book's got to have a plot. Not this one, sir. It is a book that tells you what English words mean. I know what English words mean. I speak English. You must be a bit of a thicko. <laughs> perhaps you would rather not be patron of my book if you can see no value in it whatsoever, sir. Well, perhaps so, sir. As it sounds to me as if my being patron of this complete cowpat of a book will set the seal <laughs> once and for all on my reputation as an utter turnip head. <laughs> well, it is a reputation well deserved, sir. Farewell. <laughs> Leaving already, Doctor. <laughs> Not staying for your appendagestatory interlude. No, sir. Show me out. Certainly, sir. Anything I can do to facilitate your velocitous extramuralization. You will regret this, doubly, sir. Huh. Not only have you impeculiated uh, my dictionary, but you have also lost the chance to act as patron to the only book in the world that is even better. Oh, and what is that, sir? Dictionary 2? <laughs> the return of the killer dictionary. 